I just wanted to take a wee bit more of your time today on DreamWorks Dragons Defenders of Burke Hook Fang Monstrous Nightmare. I hate Dragons reviews! More Smurfs Micros, please! Oh, okay. Well anyway, here he is, looking really cool, really red, spotted, and uh, has some great spikes all over him. Looks much better than he does in the package. Going backwards, here is how he appears in his package on store shelves. Uh, Hook Fang is open to the elements of the world, uh, but you can't really do anything with him. He is pretty much locked into place. There is no features to test while he's in his box. Uh, on the back here, you've got a nice little die cut uh, action scene of his uh, swing wing disc fling. <laughs> That's fun to say. And some of the other dragons available again. Unfortunately, my box is a little damaged, but that's okay, because, hey, we're ripping him out. Some of the things he has that are neat are these awesome opening and closing uh, claws on his feet. Uh, that's great for picking up action figures and tossing them to their doom. Kind of a neat feature I haven't seen yet in a dragon toy. Really cool face on this guy. I mean, they have the teeth going on and a little bit of a tongue deep inside their head there. And uh, that is really neat. You can almost kind of bend this open and clamp down on a figure if you're trying to fight. So really nice touches. Nice has a rotating neck here. And uh, the tail is really flexible, really neat with these spikes again. But it doesn't really uh, hold or anything. It's just kind of flexible. Uh, he also has wings, of course, and they're held in by the packaging rubber bands. And they're going to kind of flip open here a little bit. And, oh, that sounded lovely. Um, so you can kind of click him back if you want to just display him. Or if you want to start using his action feature, you flip them forward. And we'll try these a little bit here in a second. Uh, the action feature has these discs. And on the back of the, or on the box, they're appearing orange, but they're actually kind of brown. So maybe the Vikings made these. So let's test these out a little bit. Shooting discs is pretty simple to do. You just take your dragon like so, find something to target, like poor Toothless over here, and uh, put your cool shield uh, disc launcher, whatever you want to call this thing, on his wing like so, and pull it back, and let go. Haha. <laughs> it has pretty good force. Um, it's, I can feel a pretty good spring to this, so you're, you might get a good five to six feet with this thing on a good throw. Um, they're not held in very tightly, so you can't really fly him around the room and then expect to uh, shoot. You're, you're going to have to just load when ready to fire type of thing. But it's, it's a fun feature, a little different uh, than some of the other dragon toys, and that's what I really am starting to like about these, is each one has such a unique feature that uh, they make them really fun. Hook Fang scales pretty well to the other dragons available. Here he is next to Belch and Barf, my favorite green two-headed dragon. And uh, again, Toothless, who he just shot with discs, is also a, a good fair size. So really neat assortment of dragons. They outdid themselves with this series. So that is the great Hook Fang, a really neat dragon. I think I would pick this guy up first now. I didn't realize how cool he was until I opened him up. He's kind of hidden red in the red packaging. And when you just look at all these spots and uh, spikes and uh, wing flanges or whatever you call these things, he just looks fantastic and is a great toy. He's going to look good anywhere I can think of. And that is really fun. Please subscribe to the Squirrel Stampede channel. I guess it was pretty obvious Stormfly is next.